So my name is William Metz. I'm a viticulturalist and enologist. The past year, I've been working on a project to evaluate the applications of drones in vineyard and winemaking purposes. The project is a fellowship organized by the Vildast Wine Symposium, covering 15 different regions throughout Europe and evaluating how this technology fits in with each region's unique uh, culture, uh, farming practices, and winemaking philosophies. Typically, I'm flying the EB multiple times throughout a growing season over a vineyard in order to visualize spatial variation. Using different types of sensors, we are able to capture rich amounts of data with which we can make many different types of analysis. For example, using high resolution, visible red, green, blue photography, we're able to do visible inspections over large areas quite simply. With multispectral information, we can create NDVI and other vegetative indexes to evaluate plant health, stress, um, and biomass. Using the PIX4D software, we're able to make high-resolution three-dimensional models, which are useful in extracting useful information from both our multispectral sensors and our visual spectrum sensors, as well as being able to do accurate hydrology modeling, erosion risk, and pesticide transfer evaluation. Furthermore, using these 3D models, we are able to quantitatively simulate sunlight capture of vines on different aspects and in different training systems. One case study where the drone proved really useful is where over a large area, a certain number of parcels had a wide variance in quality. The winemakers knew that they were getting good quality in some parts and bad quality in other parts, and it was quite a challenging proposition for them when planning how to harvest and planning their winemaking schemes for their top-end wines and their second-tier wines. Using the drone over the course of the year, we were able to see where the vines differed spatially in their growth patterns. This was quite interesting in using this information to plan the harvest and the winemaking scheme going forward. What we learned right now is we see spatial variation of different things and it allows us to run experiments at a much easier level than, than most wineries would be able to do on their own. This lets us have more quantitative information when planning our winemaking and when planning our vineyard auctions and our vineyard planning such as fertilization or even how much to crop in different sections of the vineyard. Drones are able to provide a very rich quantity of data and it's our job to be able to sift through this information to pull out specific information, isolate variables that can be used to answer questions that individual companies have. So it's very important to come with the approach of asking a very specific question. What's my spatial variation of maturity in my vineyard? Can I fertilize more quantitatively? And where are my erosion risks? And potentially, can I quantify the amount of erosion that's occurring? Going forward, we can imagine that drones will become a more common source of supplementary information for winemaking decisions. We can also expect that as winemakers, we will be better equipped to act upon new forms of information.